Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and today I am here with Ginger from Gingerific hey. and a lot. lot uh, You guys gotta check these guys out. I'm gonna put links below to their channel so make sure you go and subscribe. It's free and they are very entertaining and Gingerific does some awesome hair stuff and makeup stuff and just kind of like really anything Gingerific on her channel. <laughs> so make sure you go subscribe to that but today I'm going to show you how we achieved this beautiful color on her hair. She really didn't have any, like hardly any color in her hair. She'd had a few little light pieces through the ends and we just brightened and lightened her up to this gorgeous balayage. Turn around, we're gonna show the back. And look at her gorgeous hair, you guys. Oh my gosh, love her hair. All right, so I just took everything in the back so far and I've just done pretty basic triangle hair painting pieces. I've showed you guys this in other videos. I'm going to show you really quick what I've been doing all the way back here. So we're going to take this whole section and you want to make sure that it's thick enough to where you have enough hair to where you won't saturate all the way through because you want there to be like a layer underneath that stays dry when you're hair painting. And you're just going to take your lightener and just start I start down a little bit further than I think I need to go because it's always easier to move up. But I get this thick coating on the top. And this is just a clay base lightener. Any lightener that you use, just make sure you thicken it up nice and thick so that you can keep it on top of the hair. If it's too thin, then you'll start to see like polka dots that seep through to the other side. And you just want to make sure it's nice and blended where it's reaching up and then nice and thick on the bottom. And then I go ahead and I use my, woo, my Redken board. She has some curl in her hair from styling it. Oh my gosh, that fly. Seriously, as soon as I start filming. And then I just go ahead and paint a nice thick layer on the ends and drop it. So that's basically what I've done all the way in the back. So you can see the underneath is actually completely dry because this one flipped around when I dropped it. That's what we want, so. Let me just clean that up on her cape. So now that we're done painting the back, we're gonna move on to the sides over here. And my gloves look really dirty, but since it's a clay-based lightener, it's actually dry and not coming off anywhere. So like I can touch your hair and nothing's coming off. So it looks scary, but I keep wiping my hands on that towel just to make sure it stays clean. And I also like to leave a towel on my station so that I can just kind of wipe it like this and then it's ready for the next um, section. And I love using the board when I have hair this long because otherwise it's just a pain to try to keep it flat, like if you try to do it on your hand, the weight of it just kind of pulls it through. Because I use the back of my hand sometimes, but usually only when it's like this length. Anything longer than that, I like to use the board. So, now I'm going to take a little bit thinner sections around her face because I want it to be a little bit lighter around her face. The thicker the sections when you're hair painting, the darker it will be when you're done because there's more hair underneath that doesn't get colored at all. Right, Ginger? Terribly. <laughs> so really quick, I'm gonna make sure that I take a little bit of this front section of her hair out just because it's usually a little bit finer hair that kind of falls out of the painting anyway and I'm going to hand paint that at the very end by itself. You want to make sure you're holding your tension here look up a little bit. You want to make sure you're holding your tension right in the middle of that section. If I were to bring it over here a little bit I'd have more sag on this side and tighter on this side. If you get it right in the middle you have more control over the whole section.
it's really fun hair painting to just kind of play with it and change sectioning a little bit, change how high, how low, and just kind of change the pattern up again, like change the pattern up a little bit so that you're not doing the exact same height on every single piece. So you'll get a lot more dimension that way. The end result will just be a lot more pretty. So same thing on this side, I'm gonna just make sure I take that little piece of hair, like half an inch around her face and leave it out and then I'll paint it at the end and just start at the bottom and go up. So you can get this done pretty quick. I mean, she has super thick hair. If she wanted a more dramatic look, we'd be taking a lot thinner sections, but she wanted it pretty natural looking still. So that's why I can get away with the big ones. Like I said, underneath I'm doing a little bit smaller sections because I want it lighter around her face. But, and I'm making sure that I wipe my hands in between as well as the board, just because I don't want to keep getting lightener everywhere. You want to try to keep it clean. And if you do get a little spot up in the hair that you don't want it, just quickly wipe it off and it should be okay. As long as you're paying attention and getting it before it starts to process, you'll be okay. So now that I'm done with the sides, I'm just picking up little pieces from the front and then I have a lot more control over them because they're shorter and different lengths and everything and I can just kind of hand paint out to the side like this where I want those pieces to be. There we go. So now I'm gonna move on to the top. So now we're just gonna take sections across the top and bring everything back. Once I get to a smaller section up here, I think I'm gonna start going sideways. But uh, you can do either way. You could just keep pulling it back or you could switch sideways. I'm gonna switch sideways so that I can paint them where they're gonna fall. Okay, here we go. All right, last piece. We are ready to process. I'm gonna let this sit for 40 minutes and then we are going to rinse and tone if we need to. And she's gonna be gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that fly. She's gonna be gingerific is what she's gonna be. <laughs> gingerific -er. Sounds like some Tigger would say, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it looks nice and light now. Just kind of trying to remove some of this to see how it's looking. It's been 40 minutes. I think we're good. Let's rinse this out. This is the kind of hair I really want on my head right now. Like, I'm Even totally... Even after you spent like three hours yes. doing it? It's beautiful. Like, if I could just have like... If I could make extensions actually look like this, I would be in heaven. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end result. And I absolutely love it. It looks beautiful on her hair. You can see that it's really natural still. So when she grows it out, she won't have to worry too much about having to keep up on it if she doesn't want to, or she could even go back in through and add more blonde in the summer. But it's absolutely beautiful. She has gorgeous hair and it was so fun playing with her hair. And it was fun hanging out with Ginger because she's awesome. So don't forget to subscribe to Hair 101 and also Ginger's channel. And thanks for watching you guys. I love you all and you're all so very awesome to keep commenting and thumbs upping these videos and watching them. I love you all, seriously. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.